Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your July 2022 love reading. This is for all of you currently in a romantic relationship. If it comes up, maybe a separation, a temporary separation from your person. If that comes up, we'll address that too. Uh, if you are single and looking for new love, uh, please hang tight because I will be posting separate readings just for you guys. All right, so let's see what we've got coming out for you here, Taurus, in the month ahead see what your love life has in store for you. We have cornucopia. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful energy. We've got patience coming there as well. And we also have community. This is actually really quite lovely energy here, Taurus. Okay, cornucopia, a lot of blessings headed your way. When we've got cornucopia, this does represent a certain amount of abundance. Okay, so, you know, perhaps you have something to celebrate. There's a lot of people that get together. Okay, you could just have a lot of love in the air. Uh, your love is blossoming. It's growing. It's going further. And it is um, really quite pleasurable and really quite enjoyable. Okay, you've got everything that you need right about now, right? It might not necessarily match everything that you want, but it feels like this energy here, you're in a really good place. Okay, so things are improving and blossoming in your world and in your relationship. Relationship. We've got patience here as well. Some of you may have put already a lot of time and energy and uh, a, high, a level of commitment into your relationship so far. Okay, for some of you, maybe you are feeling a little bit impatient and spirit is saying here that patience is a virtue enjoy your moment enjoy where you're at sometimes we do want to rush ahead so fast and while that is fine okay when we don't take a when we don't take a step back and we don't stop and smell the roses okay we miss things right we miss things we miss those miss those little pleasures and joys of life so patience may be a virtue okay but it may also be required for you in the month ahead here also okay but i also get the the feeling here that maybe you've been waiting for something for a while there may be a little bit of a shift that might be coming in here for you or that is necessary because you may be in this energy with patience where you may have been waiting and waiting and waiting and playing that waiting game right you're all in a different stage of your relationship some of you you're just getting to know each other you're building a foundation others of you been with together with your person for a long time Okay, so there may be something here that you have been waiting for and it's like, okay, uh, time is of the essence now. I've been patient for long enough. Okay, especially if you're looking for like a higher level of commitment. Okay, there may be some change or some shift or even a surprise um, that may come in for you, for you. That patience card is card number 16 that relates to the tower card. Okay, so where you've got a good, strong, solid foundation, but there may be something that needs to shift and change because you've kind of outgrown one stage and you need to um, try and find a way to move forward, right? Okay, or there's something there that hasn't been working and there isn't some necessary uh, shift in how you deal with your person or shift going forward in your relationship. So there may even be a surprise that's coming your way as well. Okay, and something that may catch you off guard, but always for your best and highest good, though. Okay, always for your best and highest good. So we do have a community coming in here as well. Okay, so you may um, have a very social month ahead uh, with your person. Maybe you're just introducing your person to your friends, to your family, uh, to your community. Um, you may also uh, have some love and support from your community here as well. So whether you're just really enjoying, um, enjoying your July and having fun, a lot of backyard barbecues, maybe you're attending some uh, gatherings, some events, um, whatever that looks like for you. It looks like it's kind of fun actually. Okay. But if you are, uh, you know, dealing with some issues or you're looking to make some change, okay. The, your, um, your friends, your family, your soul tribe in your community, plus your spiritual community as well, by the way, can very much help you give you some advice or maybe even help you plan a bit of a surprise as well. So trust in your, trust in all of your people in the 3D and also in your otherworldly realms. We've got the Empress coming in here for you. You know how much I love this energy right here. We've got that cornucopia 
Okay, and with the Empress, this is a time of blossoming, of growth, of love in the air for you. Okay, this is an energy of creation, enjoying where you're at. The Empress brings abundance into your life, that cornucopia energy there. Some of you, you're in your newer relationship and you're seeing a lot of potential here. Uh, you're getting to know your person and you're just feeling really good. Others of you here, there may be some healing energy uh, that's here for you, okay, or you're just really loving where you're at. That Empress energy is uh, Venus represents the Empress. Um, Venus is all about love and growth and all of this wonderful lovey-dovey energy. And that's what you've got coming in there with that Empress card. So love is the order of the day for you there. Now your challenge um, in your month ahead, we have the Ace of Wands. Now the Aces are always good, even if they are in a challenge position. Okay, but the Ace of Wands does represent something new or something improved. So perhaps for some of you here, especially if you're getting to know your person, you're building a foundation maybe you haven't been together for too too long okay that ace of wands your challenge may be transitioning out of newness okay into the next step into the next phase of your relationship but when we do have the empress that's here this does represent growth okay so i think here that if you're patient if you just enjoy your moment okay and if you speak truthfully and honestly with your person i think here that you will get to the next step and you will get to where you're looking to go those aces do represent something exciting for you, okay, and something, a lot of passion as well. So now here, if you've been with your person for a while, that patience energy, it's like the clock is ticking there, okay, um, maybe you've been waiting for something to happen. Okay, that Ace of Wands, okay, that's quite often that first signs of manifestation, something, boom, this is what I want, this is what I'm looking for. Maybe you're looking for um, a higher level of commitment, um, you know, to get engaged, okay, to move in together, to get married, okay, whatever that looks like for you, Ooh, or to start a family, okay, that Empress is, uh, you know, very fertile energy, okay, if you are, uh, if you are looking to get pregnant, okay, it's not a medical reading whatsoever, okay, so take it with a grain of salt, but, um, you know, but this, the Empress card does represent for, uh, fertility and giving birth, pregnancy, okay, the Ace of Wands, right, we need something to happen, okay, before we can, you know, uh, get pregnant and start a family, so perhaps there's been some um, fertility issues, or perhaps you've just gotten to the stage in your relationship where you are looking to start a family or add to your family, okay, so it might be a little bit of a waiting game for you but if that's the case for you this is an awesome energy to get started okay to get trying um, and uh, you may just get a little bit of a surprise okay you might be getting the surprise that you're looking for okay um, but here this ace of wands I also feel here that maybe if you've been with your person for a while you might be looking for new ways to infuse some passion into your relationship okay um, or to get out and have some fun and it looks like you know with the energy that's coming in here I think that things are getting back on track we've had a very difficult last couple of years right so um, I think here that you are maybe looking to just try new things okay or to infuse fresh energy or again um, maybe take a relationship to the next level okay but with that empress there um, all is possible for you blessings headed your way we've got the five of wands now the five of wands you may have uh, some issues in your relationship some challenges that you're trying to overcome okay maybe um, you know, but the fives do represent obstacles and challenges, but they do represent also the opportunity for something exciting, new adventures as well. Okay. And the five of wands is not necessarily like a really negative card. As far as the five goes, it, as far as the fives go in the tarot, it's probably one of the easier ones to deal with a lot of the time. Not all the time, but a lot of the time, because quite often it does represent um, some competition, teamwork, uh, community, okay, in there. Um, it can represent um, physical activity, uh, you know, um, attending like um, attending or participating in like sporting events, things like that. Okay. And so you may have, uh, you may have something like that coming in for your, here for you. Okay. Perhaps you have an opportunity to get out and have some fun. Okay. Maybe you and your person um, can team up with a bunch of other people, right? Maybe that gathering. Okay. Remember this five of wands for you is a blessing. 
thing. So we are taking the absolute most positive aspects of that five. Okay, so that teamwork, that collaboration, a whole bunch of people coming together, right, to, to have a common goal. So again, perhaps your friends, your family, your soul tribe, um, and also your spiritual soul tribe is very important for you. Okay, but I think here also this does represent whatever obstacles or challenges that you have been faced with. This is overcoming them in a very positive way, because, and it is by taking some action and taking some initiative. Okay, so perhaps part of your uh, thing here, if you've been patient for something, you've been waiting for a while, no, 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 no. You're no wallflower here. Get cracking and get started, okay? Climb this, climb this fiery, uh, climb this fiery volcano, okay? And you will overcome whatever issues that you are dealing with. Your advice from spirit, the emperor. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that energy. The Empress and the Emperor both coming out there for you. The Emperor is Aries energy. Okay. Um, if you you or your person may have some Aries in your chart, there may be a relation to the Aries reading somewhere there. Okay, but the Emperor really is about um about authority, um, control, power, and all in a really um positive way. And so, um, you know, so your advice here is could be from spirit that, you know, it maybe you need to step up to the plate. Perhaps you need to take the initiative. OK, especially if you've been waiting for a while. OK, a little bit of a theme there for some of you. OK, do not wait in the wings. This is your 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 month here to make that some things happen for yourself, to get things out in the open, to have a discussion. Maybe even if you've been waiting for someone to do something you take charge with that emperor energy. Okay. So spirits really wanting to empower you. Okay. In the month ahead. All right. And you know, like I said, if you're looking to start a family or add to your family or even to blend families together. Okay. Spirits really saying with that emperor card there, you've got this. Okay, you've got this. You have a lot more control um, than you really than you may give yourself credit for. The emperor is also a, an energy of strategy. So perhaps you do need to um, put a plan in place, okay, or make a plan, okay, before you actually uh, take charge or take action on something there, okay. And it's sometimes it's all about the strategy. So, but sometimes we need to be a little flexible as well. The emperor is that energy where I've got a plan in place. But I also recognize the need to make some course corrections and some adjustments, okay? Um, the best laid plans sometimes do need that course correction, okay? So remember, whatever plans that you have, changes may be necessary for you in the future. But with the emperor and the empress energy both here, okay, it's like soulmate energy, right? The emperor and the empress, they're this ultimate power couple here, okay? So, you know, so this can certainly be spirit giving you that reminder that you and your person or that confirmation that, yes, this is your soulmate, okay? Yes, this is someone who you are meant to be with, whether it's for a short time or a long time, okay? So just allow. The empress energy is about allowing, okay? The emperor is about taking action. But we need to find the balance between those two, okay, for a healthy, happy relationship. All right, but very much power couple, uh, kindred spirit, soulmate energy that's coming here. So if you're looking for that confirmation, this may be that confirmation that you have. And this may be a little fiery connection here with that ace of wands here, okay, but, um, but I think there's a lot of deep spiritual connection with you and your person as well. It's not just superficial and it's not just physical. Okay. So a very lovely energy there. If you and your person have been together for a long time though, okay. Um, you know, that ace of wands, perhaps you do need to get out and have a little bit of fun or breathe fresh life somewhere into your relationship. Okay. But whatever that is there for you, um, it's very, uh, positive energy. Okay. We do have progress though. That's being made in your relationship as well, right? We do have the number three, with the empress where you've got four with the emperor and we've got five with the five of wands um even the most powerful connection that we have with our people we do sometimes hit a little bit of a bump in a road okay but it feels like here whatever challenges you're getting those under wraps okay you're getting those really wonderful but the emperor can also represent your advice from spirit maybe to seek out some advice so that emperor energy, um, <clears throat> excuse me, there may be somebody that if you have some questions or wonderings, or if you've got some issues that you need to kind of figure out part of that community, that emperor energy could be somebody in your 
uh, soul tribe that has some really good advice for you, okay, that can help you see the potential or maybe even just give you that patient, loving energy and say, don't worry, just enjoy yourself. Everything's going to be okay. So this may be a person that you seek out for some guidance. But we do have the temperance card coming out here as your overall outcome for your month ahead. The temperance card is a lovely, lovely energy. Um, it's the Sagittarian energy. Now, by the way, we do have, uh, nope, that's Capricorn. I lied. Okay, so uh, I was going to say we have a full moon in Sagittarius, but no, we don't. It's Capricorn this month, not Sag. But the temperance energy really does bring about some healing elements into your world as well. So if there's been something that's been a little bit um, topsy-turvy, that five of wands, you'll get over it. And then that temperance energy there, it's cooling the waters. It's um, having this very calm atmosphere and um, bringing in that healing. Um, now the temperance card though does also bring about the message of everything in moderation, right? That patient energy, patience, patience. So Perhaps you really do need to um, be a little bit gentle with yourself and your person, okay, and things will figure themselves out. Sometimes things just sort themselves out a little bit, okay, but that uh, temperance card, if you are um, a little bit impatient, okay, temperance energy, your guardian angel, te temperance quite often does come in as a guardian angel, um, you know, your spirit guides, past loved ones even, so part of that spiritual community, okay, it's like spirit really here is bringing you in this very sense of calm, of patience, of everything's going to be okay, um, bringing in the healing for you, okay, but it's also bringing in a little bit of moderation into your world as well. Quite often that temperance card really does bring about that, um, you know, moderation, moderation is the key for you, okay, so again, enjoy the moment, easy does it, keep on moving forward, but don't get frustrated, okay, things do quite often sort themselves out in due course. And sometimes we want everything here and now, and that's not always possible. Okay, but that temperance card there, you could be restoring some balance between you and your person, or you've just got this very calm uh, kind of energy that's there. All right, so let's have a look. We'll just get a little bit more details here. The Empress card, we do have the Page of Cups. So, oh yeah, um, the Page, oh, I've got to say. Okay, so if you do, um, uh, if you have been trying trying to start a family, okay, or if that's your plans in the month ahead here, the Page of Cups is an awesome omen for you, okay, quite often the pages do represent children, the Page of Cups quite often is very much related to that pregnancy card, okay, so the Empress with the Page of Cups, um, yes, okay, so will you, whether you are giving birth in the month ahead, oh my goodness, if you are already pregnant, oh my goodness, your, um, uh, Oh man, I don't think that baby wants to come out. Okay, so um, you're it may be uh, uh, I mean, you might be overdue. Okay, to come in, and that's why spirit's giving you this calm, very patient, very healing energy. Okay, uh, this Ace of Wands. You can't wait to uh, you know to give birth. Okay, um, yes, it's exciting and everything, but man, oh man, we're in July, and depending on where you are in the world, ugh, this is not the best time here to be pregnant. You're probably hot, your feet are swollen and sweaty, and you're just like, I can't wait to, uh, you know, to get this kid out of me. Um, so, um, but I think here that you might get a little bit of a surprise. So, uh, but that Page of Cups can certainly represent some pregnancy coming in there. But the Page of Cups also does represent um, a little bit of surprise headed your way, a little bit of happiness, and a little bit of positive positivity and joy that's coming in there for you. Okay. And, um, you know, maybe your person does kind of, uh, give you an offer of love or maybe something you've been waiting for, for a while. Finally, someone steps up to the plate, that page of cups, bringing you in that let, Oh, I didn't quite expect that. So whether it's someone saying, I love you for the first time, or whether it is someone doing something like, um, you know, um, making promises for the future or plans for the future, or maybe even uh, giving you like an engagement ring or something like that. The page of cups does bring in this wonderful, positive, uh, kind of inspirational energy. Okay. And, um, but this can also be just you and your person living your best life, enjoying life, enjoying time with family, with friends, with your children, if you have any, okay. And really just having a good time and being very positive for what is yet to come. Uh, ooh, we've got the devil coming in here. Okay. As a challenge. Oh, ouch. Okay. The devil card is uh, a challenge anyway. 
Okay. And in your challenge position, okay, this is where you're, okay. So I've got a couple cards that do tend to travel together quite often. All right. The devil card and the temperance card quite often do show up together in readings. The temperance card doesn't always bring the devil out, but whenever I get the devil, a lot of the time, probably upwards of 90% of the time, temperance comes out at the same time. And it's really just because we do live in a world of duality, right? Everything the positive with the negative. Okay, so even if there is some challenges here for you, okay, temperance is coming in here with your, your angel spirits, your guides to sort things out for you, okay? So the devil energy, there could be something that you're quite obsessed with, okay? Or there could be some sort of temptation somewhere along your journey. But the devil card brings out fear as well, okay? So perhaps there's something here where maybe you do have some sort of fears that you need to work through, okay? And quite often if you are, uh, you know, if your relationship may be at the phase where you're about to take the next step, okay, or the next leap forward, or huh, you're looking to start a family, okay? Or maybe you, you know, you already are and you're just waiting for, waiting for the big day, okay? The, this does bring out quite often fears and anxieties um, and things that do represent our shadow side that come out with that devil card. Okay. So, you know, perhaps here that, you know, you are getting a little bit ornery. Okay. Or you are getting a little bit impatient, or maybe there is something that you're just a little bit afraid of. Okay. And so that does require a little bit of patience of perspective and maybe even you need to put down your own kind of boundaries with yourself there as well okay so maybe something here that's just a little bit challenging for you but with the temperance card here you may be in that situation where you do have the devil on the one shoulder right you know those old cartoons looney tunes on a saturday morning and you know the you know bugs bunny i think right you got the devil on one shoulder saying no 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 or either that or prodding someone to do something bad and then you've got the angel on the other shoulder right so so, you know, so uh, it's that balance of energies. So there may be something there for you that does uh, need a little bit of healing, okay? Or maybe you do need to let go of something there, that devil card, right? M uh, temperance, everything in moderation, patience. So there may be some impatience here or maybe even some bad habits that maybe you're looking to break, okay, with that devil card. So something there is certainly causing um, a little bit of an issue, okay? And But I think here that it's something that you're going to work through because don't forget that temperance card there is your overall outcome energy for for your month ahead, but it's made up of everything in between, okay? So you may be dealing with a difficult person, okay? That that devil energy can represent a person who, you know, that backhanded kind of person, right? They, on the outside, they're like, oh, let me help you. Oh, no, I have your best interests at heart, but really they do underhanded things behind your back. You, right? So you might be dealing with a person like that. Hopefully, that's not somebody in your um, in your community of trusted people, but it might be, right? Not everybody is completely honest all the time. Okay, so perhaps there is something that you need to work through, or even detach from that person. Okay, if that represents a person, right? Maybe you need to detach from that person and you know, it's like, you know what, I don't think you're part of my future. You may not necessarily say that to that person. Okay. You might just, um, you might just be thinking that and that's the actions that you take going forward. All right. But here, I think that you, you might even be looking to, uh, take a more positive approach at something here as well. Okay. Because don't forget that devil card is clarifying that ace of wands. Okay. So something that has the potential to be really quite positive. All right. Maybe just a few challenges or some slower energy that's coming in there. You may even just feel like, oh my God, I'm waiting for my luck to change. Okay. And that devil card, I think there you're trying to find a fresh approach or a different way to deal with something challenging. Okay. And part of your challenge there may also be to stay optimistic as well. Okay. So we're working through some shadowy energy there, or even some shadowy people. Uh, your blessings. We've got the magician. Beautiful. Wow. Okay. So the magician here is really being focused on what it is that you want. What do you want to create? Where do you want to go? Okay. I think you're being very resourceful. You're being very focused on overcoming some issues and a challenge. And don't forget here, you know, your blessing is that five of wands, right? Overcoming some sort of challenge. Okay. So we're overcoming this devil energy. Yay. Okay. That's always awesome. Okay. We're finding a different approach that's healthier for us.
And the magician, if you're embracing your inner magician here, you are figuring out a better way. You're looking a little bit more positive, okay? You are tapping into some resources, perhaps even some hidden resources, okay? The power um, is all yours, okay? To create something better, to create something different. Now, we do have creation here. We've got a little bit of a battle here, okay? We've got fears and worries and anxieties and frustrations probably that come out there, but we've got something positive. So again, um, you know, if this revolves around some family, blending your families or starting a new one, okay, um, something that's been a little bit of a challenge, I think you might have some very positive um, surprises headed your way, okay, something very exciting there. But that magician is all about manifestation. And again, we've got that Ace of Wands is manifestation coming to fruition, right? The seeds of opportunity, whatever it is that you are looking to um, bring in and attract into your world. Okay, that magician there is that blessing for you. So I think here that um, it may just be a little bit of a waiting game for you. Okay, and but I think here things are starting to happen for you in a positive way. Okay, so that magician energy is beautiful. The king of swords is coming out here as well with that emperor as your advice from spirit. Communication is the key for you. Okay. You might need to take the lead with that magician energy. You are the powerful one. Okay. And remember we do have your own personal power there with that emperor card. So the king of swords really is about, um, being very focused, uh, being very communicative, honest, and truthful with what it is you want. Perhaps logic may actually, uh, logic may actually overrule this kind of underlying fear with the devil energy. Okay. People are always afraid to get the devil card, right? It's not necessarily always super bad because quite often it doesn't always represent the fact that, Oh, I have a toxic relationship or I've got a toxic ex. Although granted that actually may actually cause you a little bit of grief as well. Okay. In your month ahead, but I think you're figuring some things out. Okay. Probably an ex. Okay. Getting in the way of something new. Okay, sometimes that can be that with that devil energy, right? Toxic person, just you can go away. Um, but the king of swords here, you can use that sword to detach, okay, and to put up boundaries, okay, to let go of something there, right? Rise above, okay, um, see things a little bit more clearly, right? We get some clarity there with the king of swords. So speak your truth, be honest, be open, okay? But there may be times in the month ahead where you need to lead with your head and not your heart. Okay, and only because sometimes our emotions can get the better of us, especially if we're be dealing with an emotional situation. Okay, so, you know, and it's creating a little bit of a challenge, even though it's something super positive. Okay, it's a little bit of a challenge underlying there as well. So that king of swords, logic and intellect may rule the day, but the king of swords is also really good at research. So if you're, um, maybe there's some information that you're looking for, you might be finding yourself online, um, looking for solutions, looking for answers, or, you know, um, looking for some maybe fertility or pregnancy tips as well. Um, maybe you're reading like a baby book. Okay. Things like that. All right. But, uh, but communication really is that key for you. Okay. Whatever your situation is in the month ahead. Okay. But we can also, again, use that King of Swords to detach ourselves from something here with that devil energy that's holding us back or that's giving us a little bit of grief, whether it's something internal or whether it's even an external person's Capricorn energy, poor Capricorn, they get that devil card. Um, but, uh, you know, maybe someone that just represents a bit of a challenge. Okay. So, uh, certainly seeing a more positive aspect there and that's what spirit is trying to get you to do. Look at where you want to go, uh, say what you need to say. And, um, you know, again, if you're looking for some more information, Information or some knowledge uh, there as well. Okay, that King of Swords is, you know, really saying that uh, maybe there is some information available to you, okay, that will help you going forward. And we have the Six of Pentacles that's coming in here with the Temperance card. So we've got Balance Restored, okay? The Temperance card restores balance and healing, okay? Um, uh, you know, everything, you know, kind of in alignment there for you. The Six of Pentacles does the same thing, okay? So, um, fairness, balance, equality is a is restored in your world. You may even get a little bit of a surprise. The six of pentacles quite often is an improvement in our material world. Okay. Uh, you might get some really positive things flowing back to you. Okay. Um, it's the law of giving and receiving the good that we've put out comes back to us with that six of pentacles. And, um, you know, so, uh, you may have some, uh, very good positive surprise there, but it is one of balance as well. Okay. So, uh, 
about equal level of commitment, equal level of responsibility. Part of your challenge here is that someone may be being a little bit selfish and you need to do something about that, right? You need to speak your truth, have an important conversation. Okay, whatever that looks like for you, things are getting back on track. Okay, that healthy equilibrium restored in your relationship, okay, or even just within you, okay? Um, you know, or we just between you and your person, right? So getting things back on track where they're supposed to be. And we do quite often just, you know, find challenges and obstacles or sometimes we create our own. All right. But certainly some great things flowing back to you, but there may be something there that does catch you off guard. Okay. With that, uh, with that six of pentacles energy, something very positive for you, by the way, someone may give you a gift. Um, you know, perhaps you do have gifts flowing your way. The six of pentacles quite often is a card of charity. It's a reminder that number one, when we have abundance in our lives, then we can share with others, but it is also one where someone may, um, give us something back as well, right? So you may get some little gift or some surprise, um, something there for you, but that six of pentacles, a lovely energy. Okay. Coming in there for you. So let's close out your reading here with a few last cards <clears throat> and see what we've got you may even get some maybe you even get some improvements in your finances right the devil card does come out sometimes when we're worried about our material world our money um you know things like that so it could be that someone has issues with spending with that devil card okay and there may be some uh you know some challenges that come about with that um you know so uh there could be something there all right or maybe some worries Okay, the devil card does represent worries, but maybe there's someone here that can give a helping hand. Okay, or maybe things just do get back on track, especially in your material world, your finances, your career, things like that. They do actually inf um, influence your romantic life, right? You know, our money is a huge obstacle and barrier um, in relationships. So let's get your final messages there. There is your first one. Only time will tell patience, moderation, let go of your worries, go with the flow, embrace your inner magician, live your best life, have fun, okay, and let things happen naturally, okay, only time will tell, all right, here is your next card, and we have power, you instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time, there's that emperor energy there, right? Remember, you have the power. You have the authority. Don't let anyone undermine you with that devil energy. Don't let anyone try and convince you about something that you don't want, okay? Remember that you are very much in control, okay? But, um, you know, don't let anyone steal your wind, steal your thunder, okay? Be who you are, all right? And know what it is that is right for you or you know, um, sometimes we do get people that try and convince us that our way is wrong or it's my way or the highway. No, no, no. You trust your instincts there, okay? Uh, there is your final card. And we have forgiveness. Beautiful. Temperance. Stop focusing your energy on past events. For life is too precious to waste. You create the real your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Okay. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated with you. If so, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I thank you so very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.